Welcome to another episode of Your Time Matters. I am your host, Tamron, joining you here each week with a cup of delicious, healthy tea. And there's one magical ingredient inside my teacup this week, and I've added a dash of raw honey, not only to enhance the flavor, but to give my immune system a great big boost. So I'm going to encourage you to stay tuned until the end of this video as I share with you what I put in my teacup and exactly why I chose it to help balance my emotional well-being. And each week, I'm here to guide you and educate you about what is happening in the astrological sky and how it may be affecting all of us down here on the planet on a personal and an emotional level. As one of Canada's top certified astrologers, I'm here to share with you that we are in the final phase of Mercury retrograde. So what does that mean if you're not an astrologer? Well, it means that the planet Mercury appears to move backwards in the sky. However, this is just an optical illusion. But when this happens three to four times every single year, we have a lot of miscommunication happening and sometimes travel plans tend to change. So this is an opportunity for us to rethink, redo, re-say or rewrite something during this time so that there's some form of healing that can occur, whether that is when you said something to someone, they interpreted something different, or it's an opportunity for you to rethink a situation or to redo a personal project that has something to do with communication, whether that's writing, speaking, or even teaching a, a course of some sort. So it's a wonderful opportunity during this last week. And also, it is that week where the little darlings have gone back to school. So whether you're an empty nester or you're someone who has young children or you don't have any personal children of your own, many of us still feel this energy of when they go back to school because it's a big shift and change, not only in our personal lives, but even in our business. And so when there's this extra time for many of us now at home, it's also an opportunity for us to start implementing some new changes into our daily habits. And many of us are tempted to even start some form of a fitness or a health regime that is new or something to rebalance some of that energy where we may have indulged just a little bit too much over the summer months. So I encourage you to use mercury to your advantage and write down a little saying to yourself or a promise or a mantra of something to encourage yourself to stay accountable. And if you're struggling with this, then I'm going to encourage you to find some form of an accountability partner, whether that's in person or it's even online. And as promised, I'm going to share with you what I put in my teacup this week, and it's actually wild rose hips. And the reason why I chose wild rose hips is because right now here in Northern Ontario, they are ready to be picked so they can be dried and made into jams and jellies and all types of immune boosting syrups. And so that is why I put it in my teacup because it's ready on the earth right now and also it helps to balance the emotional heart if there's this sense of longing or loss or anxiety happening during this week and also if you have enjoyed the information that i've shared with you i'm going to encourage you to come back again for another episode of your time matters if you are a woman and you have recently or maybe in the past suffered from some form of heartbreak from a relationship, whether that was in your personal life or even in your business, and you haven't really had that opportunity to, to heal and to really understand maybe why this has happened for you so that you can actually learn a great lesson in your life. I'm going to encourage you to click on any of these social media links that are associated with this video so that you can learn how to heal and recover using a five-step spiritual alchemy process that I have not only used on myself, but used with many other clients in the past. And I've put this together as a recovery process 
And there are many levels that you can join and use, starting with even free. And that's where I'm going to encourage you to join my online community, where I start teaching you more in-depth information as to what holistic remedies that I'm encouraging you to use to stay emotionally balanced during this time in your life. We're going to tap into how to understand your own astrological birth chart in a self-study program. And then, of course, there's different levels of private mentorship and small group mentorship with me so that we can go deeper into your astrological birth chart and uncover some deeper information that helps to guide you more into your higher purpose and to help you feel more fulfilled because maybe there is a divine reason why this has happened. And so once the healing occurs, then we start to see some magic and you start to see shifts happening in your own personal life. And maybe some opportunities just start flowing in that you never even imagined. So again, I'm going to encourage you or share this message with any woman that you know, who is suffering and needs that form of healing. And again, I look forward to meeting you inside of my community. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.